Hey guys, so a few of you asked about how to establish the arms and legs from the human core, so I'm gonna show you the arms right now. So what I would do is establish pretty much this angle, okay? Once you kind of figure out, okay, you know the shoulder's gonna go here. Now that's gonna be a little bit taller. Uh, it, can, it can be higher or it can, it can be lower. Uh, but it's gonna be in this general area. And I'm gonna create this bubble shape right here. So this bubble shape, I know this is gonna be the center, this is where it's gonna be locked. And from this bubble shape, this is where the rest of the arm is gonna come out. Now what determines that length is that I know this is the crotch, this is the waistline. And if I'm gonna draw through, that means the knees are gonna probably end up somewhere in there. So the hand is gonna end up about halfway through, through this. So I know the hand is gonna be somewhere in this area. The actual tips of the fingers, actually, it's gonna be somewhere in this hand, so the hand will probably be like right about here. So halfway from that, I know the elbow is gonna be somewhere around here. So now I have this motion going on here. Once I have this, I just repeat it on the same side. So now I know this is gonna happen. And then from here, I'm already thinking bicep, forearm, and now I kind of have a general idea of how long this arm is going to be, where the joints are going to land, where the end of the, the, the tips, the fingertips are going to end up going. And then from here, you just go ahead and keep adding detail. Now you can repeat this same process with the arm in pretty much any direction. So imagine if the arm was going to go up a little bit. Okay. So let's say you want to draw the arms up a little, so you can, just establish this volume area. This area just says the shoulder needs to land somewhere in this region because this arm is gonna go up. So you can reinforce it with drawing the clavicle right in here. Just to kind of, you don't have to draw the exact thing. All you're drawing is just the motion, okay? And then from here, you kind of want, you know the arm is gonna go somewhere in this region. So you know this is gonna be the elbow, the hand is gonna be somewhere in here. So now once you have this established, you have a general idea of where this arm is going to land. From here, this is where you want to start to apply the primitives. So from here, you can quickly go ahead and just quickly scribble a primitive shape. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. All you're doing is just establishing some volume. Now, once you have that, you kind of get a sense of, okay, this is where the arm is going to end up. This is how, how high it's going to be. This is how long it's going to be. And then from there, you can start to refine it. So. This is where you can go through and just kind of clean this up a little bit. You don't have to re erase it completely. Just erase it a little. And then from here, this is where you can start to break down the shape a little bit more. Like this arm came out a little bit long, so you can sh shorten that a little bit. So you can come through and just quickly draw, you know, bring the elbow back a little bit. Maybe bring the forearm in this region. And just quickly, establish this shape right here. Now this all comes from just the primitives that, I'm that I initially established. And you can constantly clean up and just go back and forth from here. Once you have this general shape, then you can go in and light the primitives, okay? These shapes. And once you've... You figured that part of it out. Now you kind of get a better sense of, okay, where this arm is, where is it coming from? How are you gonna build it? How are you going, how are you going to refine the edges and, and change the shape? Now, a lot of this isn't, isn't locked in the plates it's just it's still in the general area you're still telling yourself okay this works for now so you might want to go in and tweak a lot of this stuff maybe this character has a has a strap going around his arm like this so you're going to want to go in and do some cleanup on that maybe change the lighting on that strap maybe the, this character has uh shoulder pads right now you want to go in and clean that up and change the lighting on that a little bit. So maybe the character has some gloves. 
and it comes out like this. So now you want to go in, clean that up. Make, you can go solid like that, or depending on the surface of this object, you might just want to You might just want to just throw some cross hatching like that. But you're constantly changing, constantly refining, constantly manipulating and moving things around. That's basically how you want to approach establishing the human arm from the core object. Hey guys, if you want to learn more about how Ryan draws, he has a tutorial on Gumroad where he goes through the fundamentals of drawing. If you want to get it, use the code Never Skip Leg Day for 20% off. Thanks, and now back to the video. To establish the human legs, okay, it's it's somewhat of a mathematical calculation and somewhat of a guess. So what you want to think of is like halfway between here and here is generally where the knee is going to end up going. Okay. So what I like to do to establish this form. Now, this is not absolute. This is just a general area of where, where the lines, where, where things are going to end up. Uh, the way I like to establish this form is basically just go ahead and scribble this shape. Once I have this shape right here, so I'm gonna come in, come out, and then kind of quickly establish this leg. And you pretty much repeat the same thing over here. Now you kind of have a, a sense of, okay, how this character is gonna stand. You get a sense of where the floor is. Now remember, this is not absolute because this floor can, can, can go lower or it can go higher depending on the character that, that you're drawing. So from here, I know the knee's gonna end up somewhere in this region. And this is all based off of this outside line, this outside contour. I'm not worried about the, the inside. There is another technique I use where I can quickly I just scribble the skeleton in here or this, this gesture line to establish, okay, this is the center line of the leg. That's a great way of doing it, but I'm not gonna do it this time. I'm gonna show you the outside. So I'm establishing the outside. The outside gives me a sense of this entire char character from the head all the way down to the toe where he's standing and how, how, how is he standing. So once you've established this, now from here, all I'm gonna do is establish the knees and then I know the ankles are gonna be somewhere in this region. So once I know the ankles are in this region, then I can quickly scribble a shape to represent the foot. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be a shape just so you can establish the, the, the general area. And from here, you can go in and create the rest of the legs. Now you kind of have a sense of it. Now from, from here, what you can do in comics, what we typically do is we just lighten this up. You don't have to lighten up all the way. You want to lighten it up to the point where you can still see some of the line work. And then from here, you can go in and start to establish the shapes. From here. Now, some artists, they like to draw certain features in a certain way. I drew my feet slightly bigger. It gives the character a little bit more of a, of, 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 of a platform to stand on it. Now, you don't have to draw your feet that big. Uh, you can actually go a little bit more closer to the anatomical structure where it's a little bit smaller, like this but I like to go a little bit bigger. Some, sometimes I do, it depends on the character. I'll go a little bit bigger. 
Just give him a little bit more power just by just by standing here. So establish this, establish the pelvic area, the hip, the joints, muscles. You can, this is very sim simple muscle structure. You can actually go a little bit bigger with this. Like that, this will kind of help bring, uh, bring the leg out and match the, the larger feet, just to kind of give him a little bit more oomph to, to his power. So whatever character this is, this is basically it. This is, the, this is how I establish the, the legs from the human core up here at the top. Thanks so much for watching. We really appreciate you. If you did like this video, please consider sharing it with your friends, classmates, whoever. Your support really does help, and it really does help us make this free content for you guys. If you do want to support us, please consider checking out Ryan's Gumroad for his premium tutorial. Thanks. Next up is a demo of Joker only using free Crayola crayons from a restaurant. So if you don't want to miss it, hit that bell icon.